What, what's the last week been like for you? Father, well, it's actually day. been longer than a week. Uh, this actually makes the ninth day. So I uh, got to New York Tuesday, the Pittsburgh series. And, uh, you know, Aaron hit his 60th, which was obviously quite amazing. And then Stan had his walk-off Grand Slam, so the week started off great. And then, uh, I guess, uh, nine days later, Aaron's dragging us around, you know, <laughs> around, the, you know, from country to country, trying to watch him hit his 61st. So it's been kind of crazy, and it just seems like every time he comes to bat, it turns into a 3-2 count. So, you know, you get to sit there and just – the anticipation after anticipation and pitch after pitch after pitch. So I don't know how many pitches he hit. we had to sit there and watch through, but it was a, it was a, it was a great week, a lot of fun uh, to, to actually get to meet you know, Aaron's mom, coming here to sit with her. That was a lot of fun getting to know her, getting to know a little bit about the family and uh, you know, getting to kind of see why Aaron carries himself the way he does because obviously getting to meet her, uh, spending some time with her, you can kind of see that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You know, the, the family seems very grounded. Uh, and, you know, you can just tell when you meet somebody, like, why the kid's the way he is. So kudos to the parents. All right. Meredith? Roger, you had a moment with Aaron after the game where you guys spoke there in sure. that hallway. What did you say to him, and why was it important for, for you to see him immediately and speak with him? Well, that was the way we had planned it all along. I mean, because, you know, we got here, and, you know, the Yankees wanted to know if we wanted to go in the clubhouse and meet Aaron and go on the field and you know, all that kind of stuff. And philosophy was let, let Aaron do what Aaron wants, you know, what, what he's doing, trying to hit the home runs and not be a distraction. Obviously, the Yankees are trying to get a playoff. Uh, Burrs, so we just said, hey, we just want to stay in Steinbrenner Suite, be up there, let Aaron do his thing, let the Yankees do their thing, not be a distraction. So um, that's why we waited so long to, to finally meet. And I was always like, I don't want to meet him until he actually hits the home run. And then when, he met, when I met him tonight after the home run, that's when we first spoke and uh, had a nice conversation. I was just kind of asked him why he waited so long to kind of make me travel around the country. And, you know, uh, the ironic thing was, like I told him, I said, it's, it's uh, the ninth day I've been here. Okay, he wears 99, dad wears nine. It's just kind of weird the way it all kind of went together, you know. So now I'm thinking, okay, we're going to go to Yankee Stadium and he'll probably hit 62 on October 1st when dad hit a 61st. So just all the weird similarities with he and my dad's is kind of ironic. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much why we waited to hook up tonight and get to know each other a little bit. Uh, we're going to go on your right with Randy. What do you think your dad would think about Aaron if he well, he's obviously somebody Aaron. He would be very proud of Aaron because the way, we were, like I was just telling you, the way he carries himself and the way he uh, comes to the ballpark every day. You know, he's mentally prepared, physically prepared. He's all about doing the team thing. He's all about winning. He's all about focusing on, you know, winning the championship and trying to bring, bring a world championship to New York so he can put number 28 up on the, the wall. And what does it mean that it's a Yankee doing this and it's a guy who's uh, a clean player, a guy who's uh, a face of the franchise and does everything right, that all those aspects are there? Well, I think it means a lot, and it's not just for me. I think it means a lot for a lot of people, you know, that uh, he's clean, he's a Yankee, he plays the game the right way. And, uh, you know, I think it gives people a chance to look at somebody who uh, – you know, should be revered for hitting 62 home runs and not just as a, a guy who did it in the American League. He should be revered for, you know, being the actual single season home run champ. I mean, that's really who he is if he hits 62. And, uh, and I think that's what needs to happen. I think baseball needs to look at the records and I think baseball should do something. In the back right. Uh, you just answered my question. Chrissy. Can you just take us through what it was like to watch the ball fly from that point on? Well, it'll be very short because it didn't didn't stay in the air very long. <laughs> he actually had a little laser out there, but uh, you know, it was just it was like uh, you know when he when he did it because the ones he hit in Yankee Stadium, I don't know, just the angles I had or whatever. You've been around enough of the game, you know, the crowd all got crazy, but I didn't really feel like he really caught those. But when he hit that one, it was like, okay, I'm standing up for this one because I know in Yankee Stadium when he hit them, some of them I just kind of looked at because I, I knew they weren't gone. But this one, as soon as he hit it, I was like, okay, that's gone, you know. And then it was just a matter of uh, – 
you know, enjoy watching him run the bases and, uh, you know, giving his mom a big old hug and, uh, you know, just enjoying the moment. Dan? Are you sticking around for 62? Yeah, I'll be heading to New York. How long it takes? What's that? No matter how long it takes? Um, I, I don't think it's going to take very long. <laughs> yeah, I think he's loose. I think the party last night, the celebration, I think loosened him up. And uh, after he hit that home run and came to bat the next time, uh, you could just see his face. I mean, he's just, you know, he got up and hit another seed. You know, it's just, you can tell he's back and he's, he's ready to go now, I think. So I think, uh, I think it'll happen in New York. And uh, that's where you want it to happen. That's where I want it to happen. I think the city of New York deserves it. The fans deserve it. I think it would be great for baseball if it happens in New York. And like what I mentioned to Aaron, I said, you know, get to New York and hit 62 and you know, knock, the, knock the top off Yankee Stadium because it's going to be fun, you know. Let's go to Brendan. Uh, Roger, I'm over here. You mentioned how Aaron Judge is a clean player. How important is it to you that a clean player without any steroid connections gets to 62? Well, it means a lot to me. And, you know, I even put a tweet out like two years ago that said if Aaron Judge actually were to hit 62 home runs, how would he be celebrated? I said the million-dollar question is will he be celebrated as a single-season home run champ and will he get all the fanfare that he deserves? So here we are. He's heading to 62. He's going to be in New York, and he should be revered and celebrated just like the single-season home run champ, not just like he's the American League home run champ. He should be celebrated, and uh, I can't think of anybody better that baseball can look up to as Aaron Judge, who is the face of baseball, to actually do that. So you consider McGuire and Bonds illegitimate? I do, yeah. And I think most people do. We're going to go on your left with Hope. Roger, I know it's been nine days now. You've been on the road, but at some point you're going to go back. Uh, what is kind of day-to-day life for the Maris family these days uh, when you're not chasing Aaron Judge around? Well, today we're fighting hurricanes because we all live in Florida. So <laughs> that's one thing we're doing down there is, uh, you know, trying to deal with the hurricanes and trying to get through that. But, you know, uh, you mean from a baseball perspective or just, you know? Well, what are you guys involved in? You know, I think people are interested. Well, we have a Roger cancer Maris center. Family. We have the Roger Maris Cancer Center up in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. And we have a Roger Maris All-Star Week that we run every year. It's a week-long event that has all kinds of camps that, that take place. And, uh a uh, golf tournament. We have a baseball tournament up there. We have you know, camps for all kinds of kids that go on for the whole week. So that takes up you know a lot of time. And then uh, my brother Kevin's a baseball coach. You know, he he does that. And then uh, you know. Uh, we kind of dabble in real estate, just just different things that we do on a day-to-day basis. That uh, you know, golf, you know, <laughs> different things like that. So yeah, try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. 